Mm-hmm. Folks, of, uh, for you, you guys that haven't seen it before, this is Giant River Cane. Uh, the significance of this plant is that historically, these these river bottoms in the Ozarks were filled with cane breaks. And cane breaks were just basically what it sounds like. Large stands, the entire river bottom could look just like this. We know that certain species of birds respond well to that cane habitat. We went in today and harvested a fairly young two-year-old cane field that was quite uh, dense and move them to another area, all in the interest of restoring that cane to the levels it was pre-settlement. We are planting cane like plants so that like more species can come and live in and it'll spread. We'll get more cane plants hopefully. The cane was pretty thick, but um it's a dirty job. <laughs> it's hot. There's lots of it. Lots of heat. <laughs> I used to go camping on some other rivers and they have large cane plots, so I never thought about, you know, habitat loss in such a, like a place like this, and then we got involved here. We're trying to restore habitat for swanks and warbler, and, um, you know, we kind of want to bring them back in, and there'll be other species that'll come to. GLADE stands for the Green Leadership Academy for Diverse Ecosystems, and over a week, we uh, want to get these kids involved in activities to teach them about the local environment, about endangered species, and um, about habitat restoration. The Glade Project was funded by the Together Green Program, which is an initiative of the um, National Audubon Society with funding from Toyota. It's not only are we trying to teach them and make them more aware of the environment, but we want to promote leaders, that we're trying to empower them so that they can go back and be leaders in their local community. Before this, I hardly ever went outside. Just all the stuff that we've been doing the past three days, like it just, it feels a lot better than I thought it did. Um, this grant is allowing um, these students to come out and examine how conservation practices are actually put to work. It's nice to be able to do something for the environment and to actually be able to make a difference and knowing that we can come back here and see the work that we've done when it's gotten all grown up and plus they turn on the hose and we just run through it all the time. <laughs> <laughs>